Hello. What is it, citizen? Your money or your life. Easily done. Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine! This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. 
Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. The coronation of each new emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Thahn's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory. A monastery. Can I help you? The blades are closely linked to the Order of Talos. We both serve Talos, of course, and many of our brothers are former blades. I myself was training as a blade when I received the call to serve Talos in a different way. It isn't widely known but many brothers of the Order of Talos are also members of the Blades. Chapter houses of the Order, like Wayne and Priory, provide safe houses for traveling Blades as well as our more public religious functions. Blades who are too old for active service often join the Order as lay brothers. We are honored to have Grand Master Joffrey, or Brother Joffrey as he prefers, as a resident here. Here, perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my Blades training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you.
be seeing you. I know that you are on an important mission for the Blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory Stables. Very good. You are well prepared. But if you should ever find yourself in need of a horse, my offer still stands. Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. What can I do for you? Wainan Priory is a monastery devoted to the praise and worship of Talos and the Nine Divines. Brother Piner, Father Joffrey and I are members of the Order of Talos. Eranor, a lay brother, tends after the sheep and our little farm. Our order works to spread the teachings and worship of the divine Talos. Surely you have heard of us. If not, I invite you to spend some time in our fine library. All are welcome here. The Emperor's Elite Knights. They dedicate themselves to Talos above and the Septims here on Earth. The loss of the Emperor must be a terrible blow to them. Be seeing you. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? If I don't have what you need, you might try the other coral merchants. Renoir's has books, fire and steel for your armor and weapons. You know... I think the mutton here in Coral is the best in all the Empire. Mmm, that's good mutton. What can I interest you in? Thank you. Come again. Farewell. Hello, I'm Rashida, the smith, and this is fire and steel. Quality armor and weapons, repairs too. What can I do for you? Nice town, but you need money here to live well. Head out of town and do some hunting. Sell the skins, or you can loot old caves in ruins. I understand the Fighters Guild is looking for new members. Seems a bit odd, but that's what I hear. Let's do business. I appreciate your business. Be seeing you.
How are you? Welcome to the Oak Encrosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Our rooms and food are at your disposal. There's one available for the night. If you're interested, it'll be ten gold. What do you say? The room is upstairs, first door to the left. Sleep well. The Oak Encrosier is the place of choice for well-bred visitors to Coral. The Grey Mare is more suitable for others. You too. Greetings. Greetings. How may I help you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Fighters Guild? The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use you. Are you interested in joining? Excellent. You are now an associate in the Fighters Guild. You should report to either Azan in Anvil or Burr's Grow Cash in Shadenel for contracts. You will advance through the ranks of the Fighters Guild when you have proven your merit. As you complete contracts and fulfill your duties, you'll be promoted to the next station accepting the associated duties and responsibilities. Be aware, though, that your rank can be stripped for failure to uphold the tenets of the Guild or at my discretion. Just do your job. Hail! Well, hello there. Sabine Lowell, Guildsmith. Real happy to meet you. So, what can I do for you? You can pay for a bed at the Grey Mare or the Oak and Crozier, but if you get a bed for free at a guild, why would you pay for one? Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I'm Lum Grobaroth, the cheerful one. My brother Kurz? Eh, he's not so cheerful. Dogs are an orc's best friend. Good protection, good companions, good eats. The Bruins have dogs, lots of them. Let's get to training. Farewell.
Well met, guildmate. Have you seen Glistel and Melinda's Ancrus together? Isn't it awful? I don't see a problem with those two. It's a bit odd, but that's their business. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the land of the Altmer. The Altmer have powerful wizards. It could be a dangerous situation. Bye. Good afternoon. Greetings, citizen. Is there something I can do for you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Mage's Guild? Well then, it's no small matter. Membership in the Guild is quite an honor, but also a responsibility. Do you wish to join the Guild? Very well. You are now an associate of the Mage's Guild. The full Guild Hall is now available for your use. You'll need a recommendation from each local Guild Hall in order to advance further. Until then, the Arcane University will be closed to you. Welcome to the Guild, and good luck to you. The Arcane University is the seat of the Mage's Guild in Cyrodiil. Located in the Imperial City, it houses the leaders of our guild. It's good that you've joined one of our local organizations. It helps you make the right connections. I'm afraid I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, you see. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana, you can prove your loyalty to the Guild and earn my recommendation. She and I have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations, and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. I would like you to find out what it is. Determine what she's after, and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here, spreading her lies. The Mage's Guild has made more than a few enemies since necromancy was banned. Make haste. I wish to be rid of Irana as soon as possible. Excuse me. My name is Angalmo. Can I help you? If you need training, Athragar has a reputation for being very good with alteration. You might consider speaking to him about it. I passed her the other day. You wouldn't believe the look she gave me. Whatever happened, she's taking it out on the whole guild. The Major's Guild runs more or less like it always did. But we lost quite a few members when the practice of necromancy was banned. I have potions and everything you need to make your own. What will it be? Bye. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Athragard of the Mages Guild. How can I serve you? Training and spells. Training and spells. It gets so boring after a while. Maybe someday I'll be able to move to the Arcane University. 
I don't know all the details, but I heard that she complained to the council until they removed Tikius from his position at the Arcane University. Not only has necromancy been banned from practice in the Mages Guild, but the Guild won't deal with anyone who openly uses it. Bye. What news about Irena? I am Alberic Litter of the Mages Guild. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. If you're skilled enough, Athragar has some rather powerful spells for sale. Very effective, but dangerous to the inexperienced. She's nothing but trouble. She went to the university long ago, but was expelled from the guild. Caused all kinds of trouble while she was there. I think Tikius was the one who finally blew the whistle on her. That it'd be just like him too, always playing by the rules. Not only has necromancy been banned from practice in the Mages Guild, but the Guild won't deal with anyone who openly uses it. What can I interest you in? Good day. Ah, yes, you are a guild mage, are you not? Yet different from the others. Yes, yes, this is good. There's a small matter with which you may be able to assist. It's nothing worth involving your guild in, I assure you. Best if kept just between us, yes? So, what say you? Excellent. It's a simple task, really. All you need to do is fetch a book for me. The book is entitled Fingers of the Mountain. It is of no use to you. You won't be able to read it. I, however, can and would very much like to. You'll find it at an old ruin called Cloud Top. It's north of Coral, up in the mountains. I'm afraid I don't have an exact location. Return it to me immediately when you have it. Make no mention of it to Tikius or anyone else in your guild. I will make it well worth your effort. Have renounced the slave. What news about Irena? What? What? Not only does it exist, but she knows where it is? Well... This is unacceptable. That book needs to be in the safekeeping of the Guild. I trust that as a member of the Guild, you would do the right thing and acquire this text before Irana does. Are we clear? Ignore her request. Go to this place she has described and return with the book. This is far more important than any petty squabble. Should you go looking for it, I hope that it would be for the sole purpose of bringing it here. It is Finding that book should be your top priority, associate. We can only hope the troubles subside quickly.
eroded by a little while. I see. Heard any news from the other provinces? Nothing I'd like to talk about. See you. You too. What can I do for you? You found the book. My trust in you was well placed, it seems. Hand it over, if you please. Ah, yes. This is indeed the correct book. You've not been able to open it, I presume. Then all is well. You have shown yourself worthy of the guild, and for that I thank you. You shall have the recommendation you need. Now, I must ensure this book is kept safe. Excuse me. I'm Contumelorius Florius. I'm in charge of Enchanted Item Recharge in the Mage's Guild here in Coral. <laughs> Get it? In charge. Smart thing is to join a guild. Any guild. Get you a place to sleep for free. No muss, no fuss, no crummy tavern food and lice-ridden beds. I wish I were qualified to have access to the Arcane University, enchanting items whenever I want. Oh, well, maybe someday. Archmage Traven is the first to take such a hard stance on necromancy. It upset more than a few people. Be seeing you. Hello, I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Likewise, I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Valena Danton just hasn't been the same since her eldest son died. Still, she does a good job of running the Fighters Guild. Goodbye. Have pity, sir. I got nothing to eat. So, what brings you here today? Welcome to the Warnet Inn. Could I interest you in a room or perhaps a bit of wine? The Colovian Highlands? Near the Hammerfell border? No one lives there. That's barren wastelands.
Have a fine journey and keep yourself safe. I've been holding back. Show me what you've got. Oh. 